Top 10 terrifying swimming pool. I don't, I'm, I'm curious as to what we're going to no, see. No, Vic. JJ said jump straight into the video. Right terrifying in at the deep end, you can say. Ah. Ah. Number 10. Julian <laughs> Water Park. Wave pools are a popular feature Why of water so parks many around the world. It? <laughs> they give visitors the chance to enjoy predictable peaks and troughs without me scared needing to go to the beach. Like but the equipment that's needed to create oh, the no. effect poses some safety challenges. Sometimes things do don't this? exactly go to plan. Surely someone in July of 2019, people had flocked to the Xiyun I mean. Water Park in northeast China, looking to cool off in the heat. The wave pool was full of swimmers, and for some reason, the machinery malfunctioned and created a wave much bigger than the pool oh was my Oh, my days. Oh, shit. People were swept away and thrown into the air before crashing down onto tiles. Oh Most of all the screams, my. people covered in blood tried to desperately escape the water in case another wave was approaching. In total, more than 44 people were seriously injured, and it was incredibly lucky that no one died in the crush. Oh, that's... Despite accusations that the pool operator was drunk at the time of the incident, park officials revealed a power cut was responsible for the freak wave, which means that under right so circumstances, calm, it could easily happen again. Oh my god. No one died. That's Number crazy. Nine. Y40, the deep joy. Y40, the deep joy in Italy is currently the deepest swimming pool in the world. I think the Dubai one hundred and thirty. Yeah. This is the one I was telling you about, Toby. Yeah, yeah, I know. Someone else told me about that as well. Yeah, someone told me I got to go, and I'm like, no, that scares the shit out. Wait, why? If it scares Vic, then believe I'm Wait, not going within a mile. Why water is scary? Deep yeah, but there's nothing in it. Scary. When you get to a certain depth, it's like if your oxygen tank goes, you, like you, it's so hard to get up to the surface before you need to breathe. Nah, I'd do it. And if you change pressure too quickly, you get the bubbles yeah. in your the bends. Ah, oh, bro, Ugh. this is deep as a 14-story well, building is tall and contains 152,000 cubic feet of water. Nah. It's made up of a traditional pool shape with a cylindrical section that goes deeper beyond it. And as you've probably guessed, this isn't designed for swimming lengths. It's used by scuba divers and free divers and has caves and ledges to explore. As well as That's a viewing terrifying. that people yeah. can walk through to look free out at what's happening in the depths. Of course, with people diving, swimming so thinking. deep, there's an inherent danger with Y40. Making one wrong move could easily lead to serious difficulties. See what I'm saying, Simon. Anyone who takes a dive has to sign a waiver just in case the worst happens. Yeah, loud. Yeah, but no, I'm not taking a dive, but I'm going with a full scuba suit. I'm going with one of them big donny, like big suits. Number eight, San Alfonso del Mar. It's just so much water. The pool this looks San beautiful, Alfonso though. del Mar Resort this in Chile. Yeah, from the outside. To be the largest <laughs> pool in the world. <laughs> Covering an area of almost 20 acres and reaching a depth in parts of 150 feet it contains 66 million gallons of water and the distance from one side to the other is the same as 20 olympic swimming pools to keep it running water is sucked in and filtered from the ocean oh no. and maintenance costs around three million dollars a year if the images look surprisingly bereft of he people put way too much emphasis on sucked in one is actually allowed to swim in the pool what today it's only used for boats and kayaks and you'll soon be chased by security if you jump in this is because there's no way a lifeguard would be able to spot and save anyone that had gotten into difficulty. And there are rumors that a young boy drowned there a few years after it had opened. Oh my god. Could you not just go it like, could they not just set a little boundary that you go in like the first 10, right. 20 yards? Yeah. Yeah. But then it kind of defeats the point, eh? Like, yeah, why are they paying like, so much to have that pool if people can't? That's what I mean. Yeah. You've made a pool that no one can swim in. There's no point. It's like saying you can't go in the sea because no, there's no way a lifeguard's gonna spot you. True. It's like it's yeah. like getting a fish tank without fish. When it's particularly hot. How desperate would you be to go swimming? Not this was bad. put to the test in 2016 in the city of Chongqing in western China when daytime temperatures reached a sweltering 104 degrees Fahrenheit. It seems everyone had the same idea of visiting the local pool, and pictures show just how packed the place became. It was virtually impossible to find any space amongst the crowd of people, degrees and some people described as looking oh. at dumplings and boiling water. There were questions, too, about the safety of visitors. First was the question of pollutants making their way into the water, and whether it was possible how many people to are peeing in that. I was oh, just about to say there must be so much piss in there. Oh, so much. If someone began to I drown, there was shit, no too. chance that they could be Ooh. rescued. And if the pool needed to be evacuated, it seemed almost inevitable that some people would be crushed in the panic. That gives me anxiety looking at that. That's too mm. many people. Number six, the library blood red pool. That's Ooh. not normal. <laughs> We're so used to pools being a certain shape and color. 
that anything different feels bizarre. That's the premise behind the pool at the library resort in Thailand, where Ooh, swimmers can become so disoriented that they find themselves struggling in the water. Situated on Koh Samui Chao Wang Beach, the luxurious Yo, Samui, middle East resort right. had chosen design features that make its pool unlike anything you'll see anywhere else in the world, because its water appears to be blood red in color. There's nothing different about the water or the way they treat it, and the entire effect is created by red tiles that line the pool. Wow. This does, however, make it more difficult to see the bottom, and it just feels weird swimming here. Hold up, hold if up. If you ever visit, hold just up. be careful well, when you dive in. A pool slightly colored different is more dangerous than a wave machine that crushed, like, yes. 40 people. Yeah, apparently so. No, but if the wave machine pool was red, yeah. Oh, it'd be done out for everyone. Exactly. Oh, Skeleft here. Held in February of every year, the Open Scandinavian yeah, nope. Winter Swimming Championship nope. is held in Skelleftia, Sweden, in a contest that challenges the extremes of human endurance. That's because the 25-meter pool that they use for the races is cut from two-foot-thick ice specifically oh for the competition and is in a location that's only 100 miles away from the Arctic Circle. What? Temperatures fall to unbearable levels, and as soon as you dive in, you're faced with a burning sensation all over your skin, and your chest cramps up and makes it difficult to breathe. I'll die. I'll You'll die. fall unconscious after Bro, just 15 minutes in the 32 degree Fahrenheit water, and you would die within an hour if not treated, which is why the race organizers have a medical staff, divers, and lifesavers. I think you'd swim the quicker, though. There's also yeah. a sauna and hot tub Bro, next to the pool so participants can quickly warm themselves up to hopefully starve off the onslaught of hypothermia. Those who swim here swear by the health benefits of swims like this, and it's said to help fight off stress, depression, and insomnia, they don't look as well as helping lose weight. <laughs> there are serious risks, though, and if things go wrong, your body will shut down because of the cold and will lose any ability to escape the water. Go on, Vic. Number four, uh, the pool of death. Maybe one day. Do a little flip in the middle. There are hundreds of stunning places you can take a swim in Hawaii. This one's called the pool of death. But there's one that's become particularly yeah. renowned for the I danger. I can see why. A place known yeah, no, as that. the pool of death. It's on the island of Kauai. And is a it's beautiful. And on the coast that's made from volcanoes. What are you doing? What are you doing? The water is perfectly clear so you can see to the bottom. And it's the ideal temperature for a relaxing dip. But this serene tranquility can soon turn into a nightmare. The waves of the ocean that roll up against the rock walls can suddenly increase in intensity and smash against the pool and whoever is in it. Oh my God. A large number of people have died here, either because they were overwhelmed by the waves and drowned beneath the water, or were simply thrown against the rocks with such a force. Now, it's one of the most what, like, what is places that? to swim in the world. What do you do? But despite knowing the dangers, its surroundings still make it a popular destination. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> He's just swimming again. Yeah, no, yeah, he ain't moving. <laughs> Number three, Nemo 33. Until the opening of the Y40 pool in Italy, Nemo 33 in Belgium had the record for being the deepest in the world. Right, look down there, reaching a maximum dark. of 113 feet. It contains 660,000 gallons of spring water that's heated to a constant temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. There are caves that can be explored, and uh, you can barely see the bottom from the surface, <laughs> even though it's full of crystal clear water. It's open to tourists, amateur divers, and professional divers. But because of the dangers involved with such a deep pool of water, there are strict safety measures to prevent any accidents. No one under the age of 12 is allowed there, and is everyone who dives must have a dive oh, or more. instructor with them at Chuck all times. The Luckily, no <laughs> incidents have ever happened at Nemo 33, but that's only because they're so careful. All it would take is one mistake at the bottom of the deep pit, and there'd be nothing anyone could do to save you. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Yeah. Number two, Marina Bay Sands. It's not the that hotels dangerous. in Singapore are home to some of the world's most amazing swimming pools, but the one that stands out above the rest is the infinity pool on the top floor of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. It is the highest that's pool pretty dangerous in the world, to be at an altitude yeah, actually, of 1,115 <laughs> feet. Is there? And swimmers yeah. can go right oh, against the side to down. look out across yeah. spectacular views of the city. There's a this lower certainly thing isn't somewhere to visit if though. you're scared of heights. And it's been yeah, look at that, Donnie. Some people, because swimming <laughs> in a place like this is oh, very neutral. Oh, it's cat. Oh, it's cat. this is bollocks. weather conditions when storms pass over the city. And if you're in the water when this happens, you might struggle to get out without assistance. Look at that. That looks dangerous. And then... Yeah. 
Bro, there's Number like one. another 10 yards in front of Devil's it. Devil's Pool. Yeah. Oh. This doesn't count. The most dangerous pool in the world is one that was formed naturally over thousands of years. Sorry, and this it seems unbelievable what? that anyone would willingly choose to go here. Wait. It's known as the Devil's Pool, and it can be found at the edge of Victoria There's Falls no in Zambia. Way. Against the waterfall edge is no. an area that's perfect for swimming in, and that is surrounded by rocks that prevent the flow of water taking you over the side. It's an extremely this, popular though. tourist yeah. spot, and one that offers some of the most amazing selfie opportunities anywhere in the world. I'm not Make dying for a selfie, move, bro. And it'll all be over. Sometimes the currents can be enough to drag you underwater. I, and there's Instagram's also gone too far, you know. Falling over yeah. the edge of the 355 foot high waterfall. There have been several deaths here over the years, and there are likely I'm to be surprised. many more in the future. But most who go this to look, this bro, to the this edge. Guy, bro, this guy, this guy. such a beautiful place. Tapped individuals. Oh, is all I see. Listen, I'm not dying for a photo, bro. Not gonna lie, I well, felt like there was some, there was some very different ones there that shouldn't cat, really be there. Cat answers, but yeah.